I don't want to have any more plan B's in my life. They don't serve you. Get rid of the plan B. This is Will Crown back again for yet another episode of The Dad Hustle. Actually, this is episode number 30, so it's a pretty big deal for me. And because of that, I want to make it a special conversation type episode where we just have a dialogue about really who I am and what I'm going after. You know, this is called Dad Hustle. So if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I'm all about being 100% dad, 100% family man, but also 100% pursuing my passion. And I encourage fathers and mothers to make sure that they never give up on those things. But a lot of times in order to reach a broader market of people, I tend not to go into specifics about what my personal career goals are. Today, I'm throwing that all out the window. I've always been one of those guys who tends to not want to say ahead of time what I'm gonna do. I just wanna like keep quiet, shut my mouth, go and do it. That's cool, but I'm beginning to realize through self-actualization, reflection, it's less about humility and it's really more about not wanting to put it all out there, fear that I might fall flat on my face. If you've ever experienced that, you know what I'm talking about. Eh, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it to a certain point. What if I'm wrong? I don't want to say anything about it. And then if it doesn't happen, like I said, I'm going to be caught holding the bag. That sounds more like a plan B. I don't want to have any more plan Bs in my life. They don't serve you. Get rid of the plan B. In my career, I first of all continue to produce this show, Data Hustle, which I absolutely love and I appreciate each and every one of you guys so far who's come with me and joined along the journey because it's been awesome. Wild ride, right? Yeehaw! <laughs> to say the least. But if I'm being 100% honest, my inspiration for this show is yes, number one, because I want to inspire a generation of fathers to be the absolute best people they can be, both for their kids, but also for themselves to never give up on those dreams. But it's also because it's reps for me. Call me egotistical. I like to be in front of the camera. I like hosting. I love acting. And this show gives me an opportunity to continue to produce something myself that I can both impact the world with, but also it's training for my personal career. Secondarily, I love writing. I've got three feature screenplays right now that I'm working on. One's a drama, one's a historical true story, which is also a drama, and then one is kind of a sci-fi. I'm about to submit these screenplays to some different screenplay competitions. I'm going to impact the world with my films and I'm going to sell these scripts, whether it's these ones or the next three or the next 30 down the line. The point is I'm going to keep going until I do just that. And lastly, in my career, I want you guys to know that I'm going to win an Academy Award someday. I don't know specifically what it will be for, but it will be an Academy Award. I've already seen myself up there accepting the award in front of the whole Academy, thanking my wife profusely thanking all of you guys for supporting me and passing the love on to you so you can continue to pursue and achieve your goals as well. I'm going to be in television. I'm going to be a leading man in feature films. I'm going to work with the major studios and other major performers out there. There's a million people out there that probably say, hmm, no, actually, they probably aren't. There's a few people out there that say these types of things. Most people are smarter, if you will, than to just say it. But I'm burning my boats. I no longer want to be the smarter guy and wait until I do something and then it gets pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. You got to understand something. You need to make a declaration, a proclamation, a manifesto so that other people can hear exactly what it is you're saying you're going to do. What does that do? It gives you accountability, gives me accountability, so I have to hit that benchmark. I have to work harder, continue to push, not get lazy when I want to get lazy because we all are there sometimes. And that's why I think it's so fitting that I'm wearing this shirt today. I don't know if you can see that, second mile. There's a part in the Bible that talks about if anyone asks you to go a mile with them, go a second mile with them as well. And that scripture I think is a perfect example of what we need to do if you're really a, a hustler, a dad hustler, a mom hustler, pursuing your passion, an entrepreneur, a musician, an actor in the film industry, a comedian, anything you wanna do, you gotta make sure that you don't stop where you're at. You go that second mile, you network harder than everybody else, that you work more hours than everybody else, that you're willing to work early mornings, late nights, that you're willing to get after it, that you're willing to, to do the things even for your physical body that you need to do, the things that you need to do for your mental health that you need to do to stay sharp and, and have that mental acuity that you need, the things that you need to do in every area of your life, perfecting your craft, getting that good at what you wanna do, it is worth it and dreams do matter. Will, why are you doing all this? Why do you push yourself so hard? Sometimes I even ask myself that question. I don't owe it to just myself. If it was just myself, I could let myself down. No, 
I owe this to you guys, to my wife, to my kids. I owe this to each and every person out there who's hustling, who is working hard, didn't have the best breaks in life. Everybody out there who has a dream that other people aren't believing in. And if you've got a dream, you're in the right place. But whatever it is that you're pursuing, go after it with all your heart. Don't stop. And if you have a no plan B, burn your boats type attitude towards everything that you do in life, you will always be successful. Today is a conversation. I want to hear from you. I would love to hear things that you're pursuing, that you're striving for, that, that you really want to make happen. I support you just like you support me. I'm here for you and I'm here to help those things come to pass. So if there's anything that I can do, leave it in the comment section or even DM me. Reach out. I only started this journey of dad hustle beginning of May. So it's been what, three months? We're already at 30 episodes. I've got some good content, stuff that you can refer to other people. The more people you send this direction, the faster we're going to be able to build a community and make this thing take off. If you aren't already, I want you to subscribe to throw it in drive. My name is Will Crown, and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, my friends. You can't stop me! Oh, that's all you got.